But food for me um, is is healing. It's a it's it's a conversation starter. It brings people together. Um, I, we work with a population here at the center that is I always say is killing itself. And what I mean by that is you know sugar diabetes, high blood pressure, uh, obesity. Yeah, that we're, Chef Steve, who's at the Franciscan Center making these healthy, wholesome, I'm sure, delicious yeah, meals. Yeah, they look delicious. Uh, to give away for people who are in need of a good meal, and they do it every day, and they do it two to three meals a day, and he's an inspiration, Amy. What a great story. Definitely, and I was just saying, I'm hungry already, but <laughs> yeah. we love food and Baltimore. We are just talking right. about how we need more stories like this because there's so many more people like Chef Steve out mm -hmm. there. There's hundreds and hundreds. We can go on for hours highlighting people like that, but um, it, it's just awesome to see the outreach that he's, he's put out to the community. At one point he said during the pandemic, you know, he was feeding 300,000 people, you know, reaching every single zip code in the city. So, Fabulous. you know, the things they do for the community and, you know, from, from where they stand and just it's just amazing. Well, many layers of the story because there's also his own redemption, his right, own right, life changing. Right. And he's inspiring the other chefs along the way. We heard mm -hmm. from one of them. She owns her own catering business yeah. now. So talk about how he inspires other chefs. Yeah, so the, really the whole part of his, his new uh, program called Dignity dignity program um, plates he he's trying to inspire he's you know he's using himself as an example you mm -hmm. know you know trying he's like anybody can be like me right you know, he's, he's not trying to come out being like you know I'm this master chef you know anybody with any background can come out inspire others you know as young as 17 as young as old as 72 you know mm -hmm. and he's just trying to get them off their feet and hopefully he's also offering resources you know Franciscan Center is not just about you know feeding out to the community they have outreach services you know, social workers mm -hmm. to work with people. So um, it, it's it's really an awesome. awesome and finally, program. another thing in your story which I'd never heard about is this Baltimore Homecoming. Yes, a group that's trying to champion the people who leave our city and then come back and make it better by oh. coming back and then taking on some sort of the uh, the right. problems and the challenges right. that we have. Right. So just really all about building a better future for Baltimore. Which yes. Is awesome. And we have lots of people that do things like that, but it's just so nice that they're being recognized. Yeah. That we get to yeah. talk about them so. <laughs> every single day. Yeah. Yes. Fabulous. I knew about Franciscan Center. Never heard of Steph she, uh, Excuse me, Chef Steve. <laughs> but Chef now Steve. it is correctly <laughs> <laughs> embedded in my brain. We love yes. Chef Steve here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Yes, yes, thank you so much. Of